In Roswell, a woman is livid after she says a maintenance man at her apartment complex shot her dog. The maintenance man told police that he feared for his life and fired. Fox 5's Denise Dillon spoke to the woman who insists her eight-month-old dog was not aggressive. The dog's owner had just moved into this apartment complex about a month ago, along with her two young children and their dog, Luna. She says that just eight months old, Luna was still a puppy and very playful. People say it was just a dog for me. She wasn't just a dog. Jordania Mejia is upset over the death of her dog, Luna. The eight-month-old, 36-pound German Shepherd was shot by a maintenance worker at Mejia's Roswell apartment complex. Mejia has had Luna since she was just a few weeks old. She was a baby when I got her. She was about eight weeks. She was playful. Mejia was at work Monday when a maintenance worker came to her apartment. Mejia's grandmother, who doesn't speak any English, was visiting and opened the door. The maintenance worker told police he was afraid of the dog and ran out of the unit and down the stairs. Luna followed him. The worker said he feared for his safety, so he shot and killed Luna. Leasing manager, she told me that they had fired him because they didn't know what happened, because um, he wasn't allowed to have a gun, because um, they don't even know why he was carrying a gun. The management company released a statement that says in part, our policy prohibits associates from bringing weapons on the premises. As such, the associate was subsequently managed accordingly. Mejia says that's not enough. She wants the maintenance worker charged. I want him in jail because if he if he just has the urge of firing a gun at a dog without hesitating, he could do it to anybody. The management company also told me that German Shepherds were on the property's restricted breeds list and that Mejia never told them about a dog. Mejia disputes that, saying she wrote it on the paperwork when she applied for the apartment. In Roswell, Denise Dillon, Fox 5 News.